me. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing our creepy crayon series. Today, we're going to be talking about the yellow crayon. And I know for a fact that the yellow crayon was like essential for all of us as a kid. I know that we all drew that corner sun at the top right or left corner of the page. That was like what you started with when you were doing a drawing as a kid. So the story I'm about to tell you is going to completely change your mind on this yellow crayon. It's terrifying as usual. But before we get started, I just want to mention all of the really new awesome summer merch that we just put up on the website. Starting with this unicorn necklace that I'm wearing right now. I love it. And it's so cool because it's almost like a mirror. That's how reflective it is. We also have two new pairs of leggings on the website. One is full of colorful unicorns and the other one is mermaid scale pattern. And I also wear the mermaid ones as workout pants because the leggings are such a thick material that they remind me of like athletic wear. But you can wear them however you want. Those are available for limited time on the website. My mom also added to her line. She has a beautiful butterfly kimono and she has a beautiful butterfly necklace. So, so many cool new things to see. I will link it all down below. All right, guys. So let's get right into today's video. This very creepy story is called Feathered Nightmare. This tale also comes from one of my subscribers. Her name is Julia and she gave me permission to tell this story on my channel. And I was so intrigued when I first started reading this because she said that when she was a kid, she was terrified of Big Bird. Most of you know that Big Bird is an eight foot two yellow bird who lives on Sesame Street, which is a show that began airing in 1969. And Big Bird historically has been the first to welcome a new visitor or resident to Sesame Street in several storylines, often guiding them around the neighborhood and introducing them to locals. And while I was doing research for this video, I was so disturbed to find out how a person wears this costume. The Big Bird performer is completely enclosed within the costume and extends his right hand over his head to operate the head and neck of the puppet. Like when you see a diagram of how Big Bird is used, it is so bizarre. I had no idea about this. And there's approximately 6,000 feathers on his body. Like to make a Big Bird costume, it takes a long time. And I don't know about you guys, but puppets really do scare me as well. When I was a kid, I did love Sesame Street, but I'm not gonna lie. There were times when I was watching it where I got these really weird vibes. I was unsettled at some points. And now that I see how people operate them, it's just even weirder. Anyway though, her fear began when one day someone in a Big Bird costume came to her school for an end of the year event. He was walking up to all of the kids, giving them hugs, and when he began to approach her, she ran away crying. Later that day, she had stayed after school because she was in the math club, and before her parents came to pick her up, she walked down the empty locker hallway to get her stuff when she noticed that the janitor's closet was open. She peered inside and saw the empty Big Bird costume just sitting against a wall looking in her direction, and she just instantly felt this sense of dread. It looked like the life had been completely drained from him, like it was an older, scarier version of what she had seen earlier in the day. And for the next few weeks, every single time she passed by that janitor's office, she saw the door was open and the costume was inside. And each time it looked worse and worse, as if it was rapidly degrading, as if she was staring at Big Bird's body decomposing, which is obviously disturbing to think about. She was even starting to see this mangled version of him in her dreams at night. And she was so disturbed by it that sometimes she would even fake sick to just not go to school, just so she would not have to pass by it. Finally, her parents had enough and they called the school and asked them to remove the costume or just lock the janitor's closet so she didn't see it anymore. But the office secretary sounded very confused. And she said that the man who came dressed as Big Bird the previous month had left with the costume and they had never kept it anywhere in the school. But she did say that she would go ahead and ask the janitors if they knew anything about this and she would call the mother back later. Now this was such a suspenseful moment for Julia just waiting for this second phone call because she was basically about to find out if she was crazy or not. Was she seeing things or was this costume actually there? That evening the school called back and her heart dropped when she heard that no such costume existed in the janitor's office. So angrily she grabbed a piece of paper and a yellow crayon and began drawing the disheveled Big Bird that she kept seeing. She drew his dead eyes, his long pointed beak that looked like it was rotting. And her parents saw it and were mortified and showed it to the school. But they still denied ever seeing anything like that and actually offered Julia to come in to see the counselor every day to like help her out with what she was feeling. So she was of course really frustrated that nobody 
Bradley was believing her. And for some reason, she could not stop drawing what she had seen all through summer break. She would go through tons of yellow crayons each week and was constantly taping these pictures of Big Bird to the walls of her bedroom. And when school started again, she was walking to her locker and saw that once again, this stupid janitor's closet was open. But finally, she saw no sign of the Big Bird costume. She kind of felt some relief all of a sudden. But this time, just in case, she decided to walk into the room. She looked around and just saw brooms and cleaning equipment, but just before she left, she noticed a single yellow feather on the floor. And uh, that's how this story ends. So it kind of leaves you wondering, like, I guess the Big Bird costume was there the entire time because if she saw this feather, it must have been real, right? So was the school covering it up or was this costume just there for her to see? I mean, it's super creepy. So thank you so much, Julia, for sending in this story. Whether it's a creepypasta or whether this actually happened to you, I'm always so intrigued by receiving these creepy crayon stories from you guys. So if you have any that you want to send me, definitely head over to my Jessie V Instagram and send me a DM. That's really the best way to contact me. Unfortunately, my email address is for business only and those don't go to myself. So if you send anything, it's just deleted if it's not for business. So please send me a DM on my Instagram. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm really like nervous, but also excited to see what the next crayon color is going to be. I mean, we've done so many. I feel like, what do we even have left? We have the white crayon, the black crayon, orange. I mean, I guess we could do turquoise. We've done blue, which is sort of similar. I don't know. We're like running out of colors, guys. But yeah, before I go, don't forget to check out our new summer merch. I have linked it down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!